in this video we will be seeing the mr room and how an mr is being planned we will remain outside the mr room because the scan is being done and because of the magnetic effect we will not be able to take the camera inside and we can go inside as we all know that the magnet of mr is always on now if you see the machine it looks pretty similar to the ct machine that we have seen but if you zoom in you will see that the gantry is much much deeper it is almost like a tunnel the another interesting aspect that you could see is that the bore size is slightly smaller in comparison to the bore size that we saw in the ct though this is a, a a very very advanced mr where the bore size is much bigger the normal bore size that we have in mr is around 60 cm diameter whereas this is a 70 cm diameter and they are commonly called as wide bore mr magnets which are available the current machine that we are seeing is a 3 tesla mr magnet which is a standard practice nowadays but we have many more magnet strength as are available starting from 0.2 tesla 0.5 tesla 1 tesla 1.5 tesla and 3 tesla in india for clinical purpose up to 3 tesla mri are recommended okay so when we perform an mr we sit here and using our workstation we give instructions inside and operate the machine the patient goes inside the scanner and this takes much much longer time in comparison to the mr as you see that the scan is being going on the reason behind that is that we have to take multiple sequences in our previous video we have seen that on our workstation we can modify our image into a lung window mediastinal window brain window but in mr this does not happen in mr each sequence has to be acquired separately as we can see that this is an mri of the brain that is being going on right now and if you just focus onto the screen over here you could see the coronal images in the t2 weighted coronal images as you could see the ventricle system showing csf so white but if you have to take any other sequence then it has to be acquired separately as it has been done in this case if i just put it over here now as we could see in this case you are seeing this t2 weighted axial image whereas in this csf is suppressed so this is a flare image both are the images of the brain taken at the same level whereas this bottom image that you could see is the sagittal image of the lumbosacral spine on a in a t2 weighted image as you could easily appreciate all this okay so multiple images have to be acquired in an mr it has to be noted that in mr uh, you have to be very very careful with the metallic objects the free metallic objects should not be taken inside the mr scanner it is also to be noted that your normal wheelchairs the normal uh, stretchers cannot be taken inside the mr scanner okay different images are being acquired and then they are assessed on a workstation and then they are reported depending on case to case basis